questions. All right, friends, we're gonna do start our new project where we're going to save an image of a famous person of our choosing and do a pop art portrait inspired by Andy Warhol. First, you need to go to self-service and download Adobe Photoshop, this one right here, or this one right here. I've already installed it, so I don't need to, but you're gonna install Adobe Photoshop. It is not to be confused with Adobe Photoshop Express. This is more the full application. So make sure that's installed. Once you have it installed, you're gonna open the application, and down in the bottom uh, left-hand corner, you're gonna create new. And just like in um, Adobe Illustrator, we're gonna create change our units to inches. And then you're gonna change the size or the width to be seven inches and the height to be 10 inches. You're gonna keep your resolution at 300 points per inch. That's a high resolution. Um, that's what we wanna keep it at PPI, points per inch or dots per inch and the resolution to be at 300. If you're doing something not for print, you're doing something for online use, you would change it to 72. Um, points per inch that's a low resolution which uploads faster but since we're printing this out we're gonna leave it at 300 points per inch we're gonna leave the background of our contents white just for ease you can change it to black or transparent but we're gonna leave it at white and we're gonna leave our color mode at RGB and then I'll hit create now I've already saved an image of my famous person that I want to do and so hopefully you have already done that save a couple of options um, in case one is get, becomes too blurry because it's too small um, or it doesn't tr um, transfer well to black and white as we are going to be doing it. So here on the left hand side I can import a photo, photos, and here you can see I've got my image of Frida Kahlo saved. I'm going to make her bigger and see how I want her to fit on my screen. This is awfully big. I might choose a different image because she's so full screen on my canvas, but you know what? No, I actually kind of like it. I'm gonna make sure that it's cropped the way I like it. I think I'm gonna kind of have her be off center so we see more of her earring and her braid. It's totally up to you. Maybe I'll even have her cropped a little bit more than that. I think I like that composition. Decide where you want it and then you can hit return on your iPad and you will have your first layer that is your photo. Now we need to change our image to black and white. So we're going to go to image properties over here. And we're gonna oops, scroll up. If I can, oh, here we go. And we're gonna add an adjustment, add clipped adjustment. And you're gonna select black and white. Now, I feel like the contrast is not very good, so I think I might add another adjustment. Oops, sorry. To adjust go if I click to the add button over here on the right hand side I can choose adjustments and I can choose brightness and contrast and I kind of want to up her contrast a little bit so her whites are brighter and her darks are darker a little bit like that and I think that that is good to share for Miss Lynn to posterize and print out for my reference photo at this point you can publish and export and we want it to be a JPEG and we want our quality to be standard we're gonna hit export and it's gonna give you the option to email and again you want to make sure it's large inside the email choose to email it to me um, and then make the subject pop portrait and then you can just hit send once you have this done, you can go ahead and get your large um, 
canvas and start measuring your grid, which Ms. Lynn will talk about later.